turn up the heat on you. We are total suckers for self-help books. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, the whole chicken soup collection, basically anything Oprah has ever told us to read. And Teresa, you're going to get excited because there's a new one that's getting a lot of attention. So, when I had the chance to sit down with the author, I did what all self-help books suggest. And I seized the day. <laughs> So can you. It's all about you. Ever feel so neurotic it's like you're channeling Woody Allen? I'm so depressed. Maybe if I took two more aspirin it would help. We can all relate. But the author of I Am and the brand new Time in a Bottle, Howard Falco, gave us his list of ways to wake up and bring some power and control to your life. Number one is to stop living in guilt, shame, and regret. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Those are the three biggest lies in existence. There's only what you did. You can't go back and change it, but you can accept that that's who you were for that moment, and we're all doing the best that we can in every single moment. Number two is to trust that there's a reason for everything that's happening in your life. So even the most challenging experiences that you encounter every day have a reason, have some information, have something for you to learn on your journey. Number three is to learn to be more present. Get your nose out of your cell phone, stop the distractions, and just embrace yourself and what life is bringing you in every single moment. Especially when you're with other people. Yes, I'm talking to you. Get off your cell phone and listen up. And number four is to act on your initial instinct more. Learn to trust your intuition. That first initial instinct is extremely powerful as it relates to what you want. And if you can learn to act on it in much less of a fearful manner, things can go much faster for you. My intuition says, listen to Howard. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. It's your life, it's all about you. Staying in the moment.